Hey guys, all right, so this is going to be today's makeup tutorial. Um, basically, I want to go a little bit deep and warmer today for the fall season. And just to show you quickly uh, some of the products that I use on my eyes as well as my lips. Um, I use my blue brown pigment from MAC that I absolutely love. I also um, use Desert Sands eyeshadow, and this is by Madison Street Beauty. It's a loose mineral eyeshadow, very pigmented and pretty colors. I also use some of my Coastal Sense um, Hot Pots, so you'll see these in the video. They'll definitely make another appearance. For my um, cheeks, I use a combination of my Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzer. I don't even know if I showed this in the video or not. I also use my Shadowy Pro um, Sculpting Powder by MAC. I'm really starting to like this powder. For my blush, I used Russet from La Femme. As you can see, I love La Femme blushes. For my lips, I use Max Night Moth Pencil. Use that. And then for my lipstick, I use NYX's Bruise Lipstick. Very deep, dark color. If you guys are uh, wanting to see how I actually contour, highlight, and all that stuff, like if you, need, if you want a full face routine, then like this video and comment below and just let me know what you guys want to see. You can throw out some recommendations here. Those are the ingredients for this makeup look. So if you guys are interested in seeing on how I came about achieving it, then all right, guys. Stay so tuned. we're gonna start off with an eyeshadow primer. This is Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in original, and I'm gonna apply that to my lids and blend it in with my fingertips. Then you're going to take an increased color. This is my transition color, actually, and it's called Harvest Brown, and it's one of Coastal Scents Hot Pots. Taking a large fluffy brush, my MAC 224, no, I'm sorry, my Sigma 224, and I'm just going to blend that into my crease. For my transition color in the outer V, I'm going to be taking this dark brown. This is called Burnt Umber by Coastal Scents. And I'm also using a Coastal Sense blending brush. This is their Pro, Pro blending brush, the number 250. And I'm going to just apply it in the outer V area. This is going to warm up our eyeshadow look. Taking my 224 brush again, I'm going to go and blend around the edges, making sure I don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to be using Max Blue Brown Pigment for my eyeshadow color, and I'm going to use Elf's eyeshadow brush to simply just dip my brush into the pigment and apply that to my lids in a patting motion. Again, you want to take your 224 blending brush and then blend around the edges. Taking a matte black color, this is from Coastal Scents, and the number is M23. We're going to take Coastal Scents Pro 250 brush again and place that in the outer V as well. This is going to deepen our look. Using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishing Natural, the shade is dark. I'm going to take my Sigma 224 brush again and blend around the edges, adding that color in my brow bone. Next, you want to add burnt umber with that flat eyeshadow brush to your lower lash line. This is going to help define our lower lash line as well as make your lashes pop. Using Max Feline Cold Pencil, I'm going to take this and line my waterline in the lower lash line area. This is going to define your eyes and help them look more sexy. <laughs> For a pop of color, I'm going to be used in a loose mineral eyeshadow from Madison Street Beauty, and the color is Desert Sands. These eyeshadows are so pigmented, so vibrant. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to apply that with a pencil brush from Sedona Lace in my inner tear duct, and I'm also going to take that color and flick it in towards the blue-brown pigment from MAC. So making sure that that color just blends into my eyeshadow lid color is really going to make this look really, really gradient. Next, I'm going to do a small wing with Elf's liquid eyeliner. I absolutely love this liquid eyeliner. And I'm going to place this to my upper lash line and then just create a small wing on the outer V. Nothing too drastic. I'm 
will be applying these cherry blossom lashes. These are Zobaz. I absolutely love this style. And I'm going to apply those to my eyelashes as well as apply some mascara to my lower lashes. Now for our lips. I'm going to be taking MAC's Night Moth Pencil. Very gorgeous color. Very popular pencil from MAC to have. If you don't have it, ladies, grab it. This is a gorgeous color by itself, as well as it works really well with any other lipstick. I'm just going to line my lips with this pencil as well as fill it in. And I'm also going to show you how it looks with the pencil by itself before the lipstick is applied. Here you can see the pencil is very pretty. It's really deep in maroon or burgundy color. Very gorgeous. But I decided to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to apply this lipstick from NYX. It's called Bruise and it's a very dark, dampy color. So we're going to step it up and add a bronzer in our cupid's bow area to make that pop a little bit and it's going to just make your cupid's bow stand out from your lips. Alright, and this is our completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I certainly had fun doing a different look this season. If you guys wanted a full face tutorial, let me know. I will definitely get that out to you. I thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video for someone else to enjoy. Until the next time, stay flawless, boo.